Hi guys, my name is Roger and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to do some programming of SysX, system exclusive messages. Um, you Perhaps you know this kind of uh, MIDI implementation charge um, of your manual, of your MIDI hardware with a lot of numbers and explanations about uh, what it can do. Uh, before there was MIDI CC, there was uh, SysX. It's still used and it's a very cool way to have control over parameters of your hardware. But yes, it's pretty difficult to program. I found this program, BC Manager, to program my BCR2000. I love to work with hardware machines and not with computers. And over here you can see the Vary OS from Roland. And the Vary OS has uh, Jupyter 8 or the various 8 software and with the computer you can have control over the synthesizer but there's also a standalone mode without using software using it as a hardware machine and then the BCR 2000 comes in very handy but you need to program it so it's going to be a very <laughs> video I'm going to zoom in into my uh, computer to show you how I do some programming just to show you uh, how it works. So ready for it? Here we go guys. I will turn on the Ferry OS. It has here PC card and with this card it has the Jupyter 8 and the TB303 programs downloadable from uh, the Roland website. It says now select program. VP1 is the Jupyter 8 and VP2 is the TB303. We're now going to do the Jupyter 8. So I say yes, enter, and it's loading. I uh, will start up over here also Ferios 8, the controller. I'm not going to use this controller. It's just for me to have an idea about how the layout is and how I can do some programming. Now we'll, we'll uh, zoom in on the program or PC Manager. So this is the program PC Manager. And... As you can see over here, this is the a layout from the BCR. You see different groups, buttons and the encoders. Over here you see also encoders and buttons. I already started programming and now you hear the Juno bass. And as you can see, for example, over here is the HPF. So if I turn this button, it changes the HPF and the other button is the frequency. Or the resonance is this one. And then you see the TVA level. Oh, it's the overall level. The overall volume, the attack. Or this one, the release, the last one. programmed some things over here um, for example the buttons these buttons uh, the first one is the wave button I can turn off the oscillators oscillator 1 and 2 so let me turn on oscillator 1 this oscillator 1 I will adjust the release and also adjust the attack now I change with this button the, the waveform There are a total of nine waveforms. And I can turn on oscillator two also. Then with this button, I can choose, I can select the course. program for for example the ar 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 arpeggio switch switch over here
<laughs> and as you can see, I don't use the computer. I can turn off the computer because it's now a hardware synthesizer and controllable with the BCR. <laughs> Okay, this is a beginning of the program uh, which I did so far. Let me start with this to show you how it looks like. For example, the uh, HPF. Um, I will double click. I go to the custom output and then I see over here a complete string. And this is the so-called SysX string. And uh, you have to put this into this string you have to put in the in the in the system and it's based on the string of the MIDI implementation yeah there we go finally MIDI implementation so we see on DT1 this is the data set 1 this is what we need that we have to start with F0 over here then 41 is the ID number of Roland brand is Roland then device ID is 10 of this specific um, uh, Ferry OS uh, 8 system it says here also model ID is in this case 0 0 then 6d then we see a command ID the command ID is 12 and then the addresses start um, MSB then address 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 so an address it consists of four bytes. It consists of four bytes. We see in this case 10 0, 0, 0, 2, 47, and I will show it to you. The following we go over here. The first byte after the 12, the first byte is 10, and 10 we see here, Ferios 8, 10 is the temporary patch. Okay, temporary patch, and then we have three other bytes. We go to patch then because we go to the uh, we want the patch. Then we want to control, in this case, the tone. So it says ten first, and then zero 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 two, and then you can adjust the tone. And there's another zero zero. Okay, tone. Now we have to search for patch tone. We see here setup patch common. And on the other side we see patch effect. And over here we see patch tone. As you can see on the screen 47 is the next number. So we search now for 47. 14, 15, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, and over here we see 47. 47 is the HPF frequency. So that's cool. It's the frequency. Then we see over here 0 to 127. This means this means the value of the frequency. We have to program this value. So BC Manager says you have to put val and then later on you can adjust the value over here from 0 to 127. The next number, we go again back over here. We see the data, in this case the data was uh, 0 to 127. And then we see checksum. The Roland checksum is to count all the bytes together minus 1. And now we see here over here on the screen a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This part. Therefore we need to put over here 6. And then we end the exclusive with F7. Okay, let me give an example. So um, I want to have the OSC1, the oscillator 1, pulse width. And I'll give you an example how to, to do it. So the pulse width, I want to have it on... Let's do it over here. Just to give an example, here the pulse width. So, custom output, I'm going to add a custom output, and I'm calling it OSC1 pulse width. I'm going to show it over here. 
with this one, T. So I do string, and we do it like this, F0 to open string, 41, string, 10, string, 0, 0, string, 6D, string, 12. And now we start with the right address. We want to do the pulse width, the uh, oscillator one pulse width, and it's a patch tone. So, okay. Then we go over here. We go to temporary patch in this case. So that's 10. 10. Then patch, patch tone. First, this 0, 0, 0. 0, 2, string, now it says 0, 0, but over here we know it is, pulse width is 0, 5, 0, 5. Then we do a val, because we need a value to put in from 1 to 127, the checksum, minus 1, the first 6 bytes, the, they don't count, and then we end the checksum F7. I say OK. Let me copy this for. OK. Over here it is. F0. Da, 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 da. OK. I say OK. Now we change this one, the value. As we can see over here, the value needs to be 1 to 127. So this one is 1. This one, 127, okay. I go to general, I want to show the value. A complete turn is 127, well, it's 126, but I leave it on 127. I want to have a let shown about this, and the default is zero, okay. So this is it. And also here the name OC1 pulse width like this. So let's send this one to my BCR. Over this this one. Okay. I'm going to send it. MIDI send. Are you sure? Yes. The BCR is now receiving the information. Okay, that's done. I have to change the BCR to MIDI mode, not to USB mode, MIDI mode. So, template number two. Then we check over here, we see this one is level, impact, oscillator, fine tune. So this one should be the pulse width. Let's give it a try. So as you can see, it works. It works, so the size X has been uh, programmed in the right way. That's very cool. And what I'm now going to do, I'm going to program more. I will not uh, uh, be boring for you, so I will end this video now. Uh, but this is the way how I program size X, SysX in my BCR2000 with the program BC Manager from Mountain Utilities. Um, okay, guys, thank you for watching and we see each other next time. Okay, have a good evening. Bye-bye.
or good day.